हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for defense and science and technology for the october month session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end first question which country along with india has commenced the 11th edition of the exercise that is sampriti this exercise was held where in umroi where is umroi umroi is in meghalaya and it was held on 3rd of october so we are talking about sampriti as the here you can see it is 11th edition question asked here is it was between india and which country so it was between india and bangladesh sampriti exercise between india and bangladesh held in umroi meghalaya and this was the 11th edition of this exercise next in which state 2023 edition of the annual joint humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise chakravat 2023 conducted by indian navy so chakravat right this is the name of the exercise chakravat right this is a humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise question asked here is this 2023 edition of this chakravat was conducted by which state so it was conducted by goa right 37th national games were also held in goa only correct and this chakravat was conducted by whom it was conducted by indian navy and it was from 9 to 11th of november uh, 9 to 11th of october right and this is a hadr exercise that is joint humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise correct and one more thing remember this was held under sagar this was held under sagar initiative what is sagar security and growth for all in the region i repeat security and growth for all in the region this is the sagar so right option here becomes option 3 next name the two com day comprehensive coastal security exercise that has been recently conducted in andhra pradesh tamil nadu puducherry to assess the efficiency and robustness of the coastal security system what is the name of that exercise it is east coast sagar kavach right this is the name of exercise this is a two day long coastal security exercise that was held recently in andhra pradesh tamil nadu and puducherry right almost 2500 personals including indian navy indian coast guard and your various marine police fisheries international agencies lighthouses port forest etc were all engaged in this particular exercise that is east coast sagar kavach 2023 right next thing remember this exercise was held where as we have seen in three locations andhra pradesh tamil nadu and puducherry coastal security exercise that is east coast sagar kavach that is 23 
मूविंग ऑन नेम द सिक्योरिटी एक्सरसाइज दैट हैज रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड बाय इंडियन नेवी इन काकेनिंदा आंध्र प्रदेश व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट एक्सरसाइज इट इज प्रस्थान दिस प्रस्थान वॉज कैरिड आउट राइट वेयर इन आंध्र प्रदेश करेक्ट इट वॉज कैरिड आउट बाई इंडियन नेवी एंड इन इंडियन नेवी टू इट वॉज हेल्ड अंडर ईस्टर्न नेवल कमांड राइट नेक्स्ट थिंग रिमेंबर दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन रिग शिप प्लेटिनम एक्सप्लोरर ऑफ ओ एन जी सी करेक्ट मार्क दिस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड पर्सन हेयर ऑल्सो टूक पार्ट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज फ्रॉम वेरियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सच एज इंडियन नेवी इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड पोर्ट अथॉरिटीज स्टेट फिशरी डिपार्टमेंट्स मरीन पुलिस एक्सेट्रा देन हेयर आई एन एस कोरा एंड आई एन एस थी हाई दे टू बोथ टूक पार्ट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज ऑल्सो आई एन एस कनाकलता बराउ ऑल्सो टूक पार्ट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज बट मेनली रिमेंबर दे टूक पार्ट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज राइट ऑल्सो इंडिया नेवी इज ऑल्सो सेट टू होस्ट अ एक्सरसाइज इन फेब The exercise name is Milan, right? Important exercise will be conducted by Indian Navy, and it will be a nine-day long exercise. And more than fifty country navies will be taking part in this Milan exercise. Next exercise, Harimau Shakti. This was a two-week Indo-Malaysia joint military exercise between Indian Army and Malaysian Army that commenced in October twenty twenty-three. So, question asked here is in which state this Harimau Shakti was held? so this harimo shakti was held in meghalaya right it was a two week long indo malaysia exercise right and it was held between indian army and malaysian army what is the location where this exercise was held in meghalaya correct and this exercise is scheduled till 5th of november this means it will be continuing till 6th of the uh, 5th of november then the last edition of this exercise of harimau shakti was held in malaysia so these were your defense questions now let's move to some science and technology union minister of state of personal and public grievances and pensions dr jitendra singh has launched the dash grievance monitoring system 2.0 public grievance portal and automated analysis in tree dashboard portal of the dar pg so this was the intelligence right igms what does this stands for intelligent uh grievance monitoring system intelligent grievance monitoring system igms so full form indirectly of igms is being asked here right option here becomes option 5 this intelligent uh, igms 2.0 public grievance portal and a automated analysis entry dashboard portal of the darpg was recently launched by dr jitender singh here remember dr jitender singh he also launched swachhta special campaign 3.0 right mark this also next indian air force conducted the first of the six new dornier do 228 19 seater aircraft that was manufactured by dash so first of all remember this dornier do 228 aircraft this is a 19 seater aircraft that is being manufactured by hindustan aeronautics limited that is hall hall is a psu that comes under ministry of defense and we will talk about dornier 228 their ministry of defense signed this an agreement with hall to manufacture these aircraft with a budget of 667 crore rupees so right option here becomes option 3 hall next name the university that has partnered with iccr that is indian council for cultural relation to launch soft launch of an online platform universalization of traditional indian knowledge system portal that is utics portal so which is that university that has partnered with iccr for this online portal that is universalization of traditional indian knowledge system portal it is savitri bai phule university option 1 is right here this portal was launched by dr vinay sastrabuddhe who is the president of iccr and this utics this is an initiative of iccr with a mission to introduce indian culture to a worldwide audience and present the rich civilization and culture in a learner friendly manner to the world so it is iccr and savitri phule university savitri bai phule university that together launched this next name the space agency or company that has recently launched the first two prototype satellites that is kuiper sat 1 and kuiper sat 2 by united launch alliance atlas 5 rocket to low earth orbit for project kuiper satellite system which is it which is that organization it is amazon.com incorporation 
right this is the space agency that has launched the first two prototypes of the satellite cupersat 1 and cupersat 2 by united launch alliance atlas 5 rocket it was launched into low earth orbit next which company has recently handed over the first integrated airdrop test crew module structure to the Indian Space Research Organization for the Gaganyaan spacecraft? It is KCP Heavy Engineering, right? This KCP Heavy Engineering has handed over the first integrated airdrop test crew module structure to the ISRO for the purpose of assessing technology readiness for the Gaganyaan spacecraft. Next. Name the company that has recently launched the first private suborbital European rocket Mura 1 SN1. So, this Mura 1 SN1 was launched by which company? It is PLD Space. Correct? PLD Space, here remember this Mura 1 SN1, this was launched by a Spanish company. What is which is that Spanish company? It is PLD Space. And the reusable rocket, uh, the reusable rocket was launched from the Spanish National Institute for Aerospace Technology that is in Spain. Right. So this Mura 1 SN1, this is a rocket. Remember, right. And this was launched by a Spanish company that is PLD Space. Next, the Brahmos missile regiment of the Indian Army tested the land attack variant of the extended range Brahmos supersonic cruise missile from the Dash State or UT. So Brahmos missile regiment regiment of the Indian Army tested a land attack variant of the extended range. Brahmo supersonic cruise missile from where it was launched from the Union Territory, Andaman and Nicobar. Right, this Brahmo ER, that is Brahmo's ER, that is extended range. This was developed by whom? Brahmo's Aerospace and it is a joint venture between Russia and India. Next, which company has recently signed an MOU with the Space Application Center under the ISRO to use light-based heavy speed communication for satellite communication in space i repeat name the company that recently signed an mou with sac that is space application center under isro to use light based high speed communication for satellite communication in space it is nav wireless technologies private limited right for this they have signed an mou with isro for three years correct and it is to use light based high speed communication for satellite communication in space this partnership was recommended by Department of Telecommunication and here remember NavTech that is Nav Wireless Technologies Private Limited this NavTech correct it is the first company in India to provide Li-Fi technology to SCC that is an arm of ISRO. So what is Li-Fi? Light based high speed communication right similar to that of a Wi-Fi here Li-Fi it is the technology that will be providing internet connection at a very high speed and what does Li-Fi stands for? light fidelity what does wi-fi stands for wireless fidelity next indian army siachen warriors in collaboration with bharat sanchar nigam limited installed the first ever bsnl based trans receiver station on the world's highest battlefield that is at siachen glacier in dash state or ut so simple question asked here is that siachen glacier is located where it is located in ladakh Right, and um, apart from this, it is Siachen Warriors that is an arm of or that is a uh, battalion of Indian Army. Correct, they have collaborated with whom BSNL to install this world's first ever BSNL based trans receiver on the world's highest battlefield that is Siachen Glacier. Right, next, which company has recently signed an MOU with? National Informatics Center Service Incorporation for Various Information and Communication Technology and Digital Transformation Services. It is REC Limited, right? They have recently signed an MOU with National Informatics Center Service Incorporation for Various Information and Communication Technology and Digital Transformation Services, right? And this MOU will support REC ecosystem for various in the various areas such as your IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, blockchain, cyber security and so on. Next, name the spacecraft that has been recently launched by NASA to an interplanetary transfer orbit by using SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Florida, USA. What is the name of that spacecraft as well as tell me the asteroid to which this particular rock spacecraft was launched. It is Psyche aircraft, a uh, Psyche spacecraft, and the asteroid was named Psyche. This mission was launched by NASA basically in order to collect samples from this asteroid 
psych right and the this is nasa's first mission to study an asteroid that has more metal than rock or ice that is psych asteroid or then that the spacecraft has been named psych spacecraft next name the third stealth destroyer of project 15b class guided missile destroyer that has been delivered to the indian navy in october so it is yard 12706 imphal correct it was developed by madgaon dock ship builders limited it was delivered to indian navy and the ship was designed by indian navy's warship design bureau next apart from this remember the four ships of the project are named after the major cities such as visakhapatnam mormugao imphal and surat and this is the imphal one that was recently delivered to indian navy next in october as krishnan secretary of the ministry of electronics and it launched the indigenous technology of 2 kilowatt dc portable charger designed to meet the new safety standard iec 69511 question asked here is which company along with the center of excellence at iit madras research park in chennai tamil nadu has developed the portable charger so which is it it is flotric technologies right it is flotric technologies right this will be funded by meity right and this iec 69050 69050 remember this certificate basically it is a safety standard for it technology equipment that is published by international electrotechnical commission right so basically this is certification is basically a safety standard certificate moving on isro successfully launched the first flight test vehicle aboard mission 1 of dash mission from the satish dhawan space center of shri harikota andhra pradesh so isro they have successfully launched the first flight test vehicle aboard 1 aboard mission 1 of which mission it was of gaganyaan mission right it was launched from satish dhawan space center shri harikota andhra pradesh mark this and it was to test all the systems of the test vehicle to make sure that they are working properly and it was to test to make sure that it can safely separate the crew module from the test vehicle in the event of an emergency right also this will test the cm uh, this will test the ability to fly and land safely at higher altitude so remember isro they successfully launched the first ever flight test vehicle aboard mission of gaganyaan mission from satish dhawan space center next indian air force they successfully test fired the tested the air launched version of the brahmos supersonic cruise missile from dash fighter jet in an air base in bay of bengal so they tested the sukhoi 30 mark 1 fighter jet in an air base in bay of bengal right this was launched from this aircraft that is sukhoi 30 mark 1 and this where was this tested in bay of bengal there is a bay air base in bay of bengal and this is a long range version of supersonic weapon system with a range of 1500 kilometers this was developed by whom it was developed by brahmos aerospace the and we know that brahmos supersonic missile is a joint venture between india and russia next dash became the first country in the world to test fired a medium caliber maritime electromagnetic rail gun from an offshore platform so this is japan right japan became the first country in the world to test fired a medium caliber maritime electromagnetic rail gun from an offshore platform mark this and this japan rail gun it is a medium sized electromagnetic rail gun next which country's army recently conducted a training launch of a gauri weapon system to test the operational and technical readiness of army strategic forces command so it is of pakistan right pakistan's army recently conducted a training launch of gauri weapon system gauri weapon system right mark this also question can be asked this gauri weapon system it is of which country it is of pakistan right and this has a range of up to 1300 to 1500 kilometers next Indian Army's first vertical wind tunnel has been recently inaugurated at the Special Force Training School by General Manoj Pandey Chief of Army Staff right in which state this Indian Army's first vertical training wind tunnel first vertical wind tunnel where is it it is in Himachal Pradesh correct it is a state of the art wind tunnel that provides a controlled environment for military trainees and it enhances the combat free fall skills of armed forces personnel next 
which country has recently launched its 30th flight mission Shenzhou 17 along with three astronauts to the Tiangong space station. This Tiangong space station is being built by China and it is expected by the end of 2024 this will be completed. Now question asked is which country has launched 30th flight mission to Shenzhou uh, flight mission Shenzhou 17 with three astronauts to Tiangong space station as it is China only. Right? Next. Next is name the company that recently unveiled Vikram 1 orbital space launch vehicle from GMR Aerospace and Industrial Park in South Hyderabad, Telangana. So which is that company? It is Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited. They have recently unveiled Vikram 1 orbital space launch vehicle from GMR Aerospace and Industrial Park in South Hyderabad, Telangana. Correct. This Vikram 1 rocket, it is capable of carrying a load of up to 480 kilograms into a 500 kilometer low earth orbit. Next, in which state scientists under the bioenergy group at the Agarkar Research Institute have recently identified a new genus of anaerobic, anaerobic lingocellulose degrading bacteria that is Sporanabarium hydrogeniformis. I repeat, Sporanarobium hydrogeniformis. So this is the name of the new bacteria that was recently discovered by the scientists of the bioenergy group at the Agarkar Research Institute. Question asked here is in which state this was discovered? It was in Maharashtra. Right? It was in Maharashtra. So this Agarkar Research Institute, where is it located? It is in Maharashtra and they discovered the new genus of anaerobic lingocellulose degrading bacteria that was named Spora anaerobium hydrogeny for months. Correct? Next. Which company has recently signed an MOU with France Safran Aircraft Engines to develop industrial corporation in ring forging manufacturing for commercial engines? So it is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, right? Hall. They have recently signed a memorandum of understanding with France Safran Aircraft, uh, Safran Aircraft Engines and it was to develop industrial corporation in ring forging manufacturing for commercial engines, right? And Hall, we know this is a Navratna. Uh, PSU under the Ministry of Defense. Next, next is Commander Sunil Kaushik, Warship Production Superintendent of Mumbai, launched the 25T Bollard Pull Tug Dash Yard MS Soft Shipyard Private Limited in Baruch, Gujarat. So this is Yard 3 of 5 Mahabali, right? This was launched at MS Soft, Yard, Soft Shipyard Private Limited that is in Baruch, Gujarat. Correct, mark this. And these tugs are built under the classification rules of Indian Register of Shipping. These tugs will improve the operational commitment of the Indian Navy by facilitating assistance to the naval ship and submarines. This will also provide firefighting assistance to ships and will have capacity to conduct limited search and rescue operations. So right option here becomes option two. Next question, in which city Ericsson has recently announced to set up a research 6G research and development center it is chennai tamil nadu right in chennai tamil nadu ericsson company that is a swedish telecommunication company announced they will be setting up a 6g research and development center in chennai tamil nadu right also remember nokia they also established a 6g lab right and that is their global research and development center that is also in bangalore so friends, these were your important current affairs, right? They are very important for your learning. I want you all to take a note of it. Now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning. Next is, which university has won Maulana Abul Kalam Azad Trophy 2023 for the record 25th time? So first of all, remember recently, National Sports Award were announced by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, right? And the question asked to you is, which is the university that has won the Maulana Abul Kalam Azad Trophy for the record 25th time? Which is that university? It is Guru Nanak Dev University, right? Guru Nanak Dev University. Where is it? It is in Punjab, right? It is in Amritsar, Punjab, correct? Here, remember... 
This university has won Maulana Abul Kalam Azad 2023 trophy and it is for the 25th time that this university has won this trophy. Here you can see Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports announced the National Sports Award which will be conferred on 42nd or which will be conferred to 42 sports person coaches and entities under 5 categories on 9th of January 2024 by the President of India Draupadi Murmu Maam at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Remember, here Major Dhyanchand Khel Ratan Award 2023 will be given to the badminton duo Chirag Chandrasekhar Sethi and Ranik Reddy Satvik Sairaj. Right, so they both will be awarded with the Dhyan, Major Dhyanchand Khel Ratan Award. First thing, take a note of it. Second, Guru Nanak Dev University of Amritsar Vijasso has won the Maulana Abul Kalam Azad 2023 and it is for the record 25th time. Next is your... Arjuna Award for Outstanding Performance in Sports and Games will be awarded to 26 awardees. Then Dronacharya Award for Outstanding Coaches in Sports and Games will be awarded to 8 awardees. And Dhyan Chand Award for Lifetime Achievement in Sports and Games will be awarded to 3 awardees. Right. Next. Next is Sony Sports has not robbed, robbed, not robbed, robbed in, roped in. That means they have robed in, they have appointed or we can say they have appointed which actor as their brand ambassador for football, right? So Sony Sports Network, SSN, right? This is owned by Sony Pictures Network and they have appointed an actor and the actor will be Karthik RN as the official brand ambassador for football, right? As the brand ambassador, he will feature on Sony Sports Network, that is your home for football campaign. So remember, Karthik Aryan, a very famous actor, has been appointed as the official brand ambassador for football's campaign. That is your home for football. Right. Next. Next is Ministry of Textiles has unveiled a mobile application to empower jute farmers. Right. So what is the name of that mobile application that was launched by Ministry of Textiles to empower jute farmers? What is the name of it? It is Path Mitro, right? Ministry of Textiles, they have unveiled Path Mitro. This is a mobile application and they will be providing important information about the minimum support price and the agronomy of jute farmers that how the market is working, what are the new updates coming in the market, what are the price fluctuations if there are in any in the market, right? Everything that is will be provided on this mobile application that is Path Mitro. This was launched by Ministry of Textiles and this app was developed by Jute Corporation of India. That is a public sector undertaking under the Ministry of Textiles. Let me show you here. Right. It is Ministry of Textiles. They have unveiled. That means they have launched this Path Mitro. It is a mobile application to provide important information about minimum support price and the agronomy to jute farmers. And the app was developed by Jute Corporation of India. Correct. And the app was launched during the Jute Symposium that was held in New Delhi on 21st of December. Important thing for you all to remember the name that is Path Mitra that is to empower the Jute farmers. Then this Path Mitra, this will be available in six languages, right? And it will provide free access to the Jute garden parameters. Apart from this, remember, this will also provide weather forecast. This will be providing the procurement policies and what are the weather situations, etc. Also, this app will come with a feature such as your a chatbot. And this will offer facility to track the status of their payments made for the raw jute. Next, next is World Bank. They have approved $300 million on to boost the urban water sewage system in which state? So it is World Bank. They have approved $300 million loan, right? $300 million loan and it was to boost the urban water sewage system in which state? So the sewage system of Tamil Nadu will be improved here with the help of this $300 million loan that will be provided by World Bank, right? Mark this. Next, next remember, World Bank has also approved $100 million loan to boost skill development and employment in Sikkim, right? So $200 million or uh, $300 million loan to boost the urban water sewage system in Tamil Nadu and $100 million loan to boost skill development and employment and to provide job opportunities to the women and young people there 
in the state of Sikkim. So here you can see 100 million dollar for the project Sikkim Integrated Service Provision and Innovation for Reviving Economic Program that is inspires, right? So another question can be asked that this project inspires, right? It is of which state? It is of Sikkim and it is to basically support Sikkim's effort to train, upskill and provide jobs for 3 lakh 500 women and youth in the high growth and priority sectors right so basically in order to provide skills and job employment to the people women and youth of sikkim this world bank has approved 100 million dollar for this inspires project that is of sikkim state next what is the minimum years for which offshore wind energy projects will be leased so remember recently ministry of Ministry of External Affairs, they have recently released some new guidelines for leasing out of the wind projects, right? Offshore wind projects, such as your wind turbines or windmills, correct? So in order to lease them, what is the minimum? What is the minimum years for which these offshore wind energy projects will be leased? So the minimum year, year here is three years right according to the new rules the lease shall be valid for a minimum of three years for conducting the resource management and surveys and it can be extended for another two years that is what a total of five years correct here you can see according to the new rules lease shall be valid for a period of three years for conducting resource measurement and surveys and it can be extended for additional two years correct and the lease expires after five years Post expiry of the lease, the lease should submit the survey data to the National Institute of Wind Energy unless they have started the work to set up wind energy capacity. The lease shall be further extended for a period of 35 years for the construction and operation of the project and this can be further extended on the case to case basis based on the functional availability and safety of the project. Correct. Next, apart from this, Remember, 1 lakh rupees per megawatt for wind energy projects of 50,000 rupees per megawatt for wind transmission project. This is the amount that is to be a security deposit. Just a rough idea for you. So coming back, remember, this is the lease agreement that has not been notified or these are the new rules that has been notified by Ministry of External Affairs. That is the offshore wind energy lease rules for 2020. Next, next is Ministry of Rural Development sign a memorandum of understanding with which organization to empower self-help groups. So which is that ministry or which is that organization? It is Geomart, right? So Ministry of Rural Development along with Geomart, they have recently signed a memorandum of understanding that will be encouraging the self-help groups, right? They will be providing various economic activities they will be providing various job opportunities they will be providing various skills to these self-help groups correct here you can see let me show you it is ministry of rural development they signed this mou with e-commerce platform that is geomart to empower the self-help that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue